Hi, welcome to Catholic Nest. So I thought I'd do a quick review of Cottage Press um, since I did a couple of videos about it at the beginning of the last academic year. So I thought it might be helpful, I thought it might be helpful to share our experience of it. So we did um, it for the whole year for my uh, third year daughter, which is the second grade, but year three in the UK. So it's a kind of Charlotte Mason inspired curriculum um, and it's really nice because there isn't an enormous book list that you have to shell out for. There's just one reader for each and then you could download their art packs um, from online, um, which I still think are a brilliant, brilliant resource. So what I did with those was just laminate them and put them on treasure tags and we'll use these again um, with other artworks I thought it was really nice and they came not only did you get the pictures but you got loads of information as well with um, each artist so they're on the Cottage Press website um, and really really good free resource to complement um, any curriculum so um, I'll give you a quick flick through so my daughter really enjoyed these and she did tell me on a couple of occasions that she really enjoys doing it so it's really nice. It covers spellings of the days of the week, cardinal direction. Um, you had to do uh, two artists per term. There is a nature section each week and an art study each week where they recreate the art piece um, from memory. So it's a really nice variety. So one of the reasons I put my daughter on this last year was that I needed her to have something that she could be relatively independent with for the most part um, but still keep ticking along nicely which is exactly what this achieved so I found that it's repetitive enough um, to create independence but not so repetitive that it gets boring it's, it's creative and varied enough to remain interesting so it was really nice. My daughter did a great deal of it independently and more so as we progressed on to each one. She started doing her own readings as well. Um, so it was really nice. I would totally use it again with a younger child if I felt it suited them. Um, it was really, really nice, sweet, simple curriculum. So it was always the plan to carry on to the Primer 2. But the reason we came away from it was that my daughter um, really got into writing. Um, and there's not really... Uh, much opportunity within the curriculum to do kind of free writing um, and I felt like it'd be too much to add something else on top as well so it just kind of took us in a different direction what we started to do really which is not as the curriculum intended was to use her dictation passages she asked if she could write something and I could read it afterwards so she started using her dictation passage for that as we had a separate spelling um, and so it kind of once we started using it um, in that way it kind of showed me that we needed to try something different for the next year. But I would definitely use it again with little ones. It's um, just a very sweet, um, very uh, creative curriculum and, and affordable in that it doesn't have big book lists. So compared to some of the other curriculums on the market, um, all you need for the year is the three workbooks, um, <clears throat> the free art and the reading book that it suggests for each term uh, which is one per term and um, just the teacher the teacher manual so that's for the entire year so really really like this um, I'm a little sad that we're not continuing with it but also ready to try something new <clears throat> I also shared that she was using the um, St Jerome's Spelling Gardens um, it's actually done um, part of grade two and part of grade one as when we started it um, I felt like we'd skipped over a section of spelling words and I found that I had to purchase the grade one just this is just my mistake not theirs um, so we started halfway through the grade one and worked our way back up which worked fine and I'm just going to save um, the parts we didn't complete as uh, copy work for younger ones so my daughter enjoyed most was the 
kind of um, puzzle page where you had to work out which word went where and it kind of gives them an understanding of what the word means and how it can be used as well. The artwork was lovely. It's definitely a lovely curriculum to look at and visually pleasing. Um, however, we're not going to continue with these. Um, I wish I was saying that we were, but um, I just didn't feel like my daughter retained the spelling that she did through them. Um, because the puzzle work, um, pages worked so well, which is why we switched to the Evan Moore spelling, because that's kind of all set up that way. I think one of the things that would have been helpful would have been to have had like the spelling test pages at the back or something easy to transition to or set up within the book after each spelling section. Because um, I, I, my, own, my own thing was I wasn't as consistent as I should be in doing the spelling tests like it suggests. So if you do buy these, um, do follow the instructions at the beginning of the book here. Um, I'm sure these work for and would work for many children. Just unfortunately, the copywork way it was set up, um, my daughter just didn't uh, learn a great deal of spelling from them. So that kind of makes it a bit redundant for us. But such a lovely curriculum. And although I'm not carrying it on with my daughter, everyone learns in different ways and never say never in the future. So um, that's just a quick review of the uh, curriculum choices I did in my video last year. So I thought I'd do a quick update to say how they worked for us. So um, I hope that was helpful. And um, please do consider subscribing to support my channel. Thank you very much.